So I just got back from walking Herman and I have a package, so I put it again. Let's just open it. We're just vlogging. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Okay, Liquid IV sent me a, over a bunch of their products to try. And I've heard of Liquid IV before. My brother's wife, so I guess my sister-in-law, it's still, it's still weird for me to say that. I'm, just, I'm getting used to saying that. My brother and his wife love Liquid IV. So they sent me the lemon lime flavor, the passion fruit flavor. And this is new, Energy Multiplier Supercharged Energy Drink Mix. One stick, multiply your energy. It has matcha, ginger, it's lemon ginger flavor. It says a naturally caffeinated tea brewed for centuries, made from leaves, supercharged Amazon holiday tree. All right, if you guys have tried these before, let me know down below. I'm really excited. These are the hydration multipliers, so one stick is like three bottles of water. Probably just a ton of electrolytes, right? Yeah, 500 milligrams sodium, one stick. Okay, and then it has a bunch of just vitamins in it. Okay. Hey, I'm all about if something's gonna make you drink more water, drink the damn water, okay? I'm gonna try one out. Let's do the passion fruit. Ooh. Okay, I like the passion fruit flavor. I can taste a little bit of salt in there. Obviously it's an electrolyte powder, salt, basic sodium. Take it back to like bio chem 101. So that's to be expected. So I would definitely drink these on days where I work out. I think that'd be great to rehydrate my body um, because I do sweat a ton on the days that I work out. On the days that I don't work out, I <laughs> barely move. So I will definitely use these on days that I work out and I am gonna work out later. I'm gonna keep drinking them, try them out, and then I will update you guys on how I'm feeling on them. Just figure I would share because it was a first impression. Taste test, I guess. This is where we do like all of our work. I was foam rolling earlier. I foam roll every day. This one's from Amazon. It's amazing. I can have a link down below. It's Matt's dirty hockey stuff. His hockey stuff is airing out back down there or out on the balcony. Her wants to go out. I'm gonna like nuzzle up right in this little corner. Have my to-do list. Get some work done. Oh, that's Herman's crate too, if y'all were curious. Where he sleeps at night. It's like a table on top, a crate on the bottom. Yeah, we have a little French bull, or this is like an English bulldog, but it's like a little bulldog on top. <laughs> this is his little decor on top of his bed. He has all the blankets and pillows. He's back there. Oh, that was his cone of shame. Okay. All right, I'm off my workout, finishing just the rest of the Celsius. Amazon, Amazon, Adidas. People have been asking about my hair tie. It's like a little bow scrunchie. It's a bow scrunchie. I don't know if you can see it, but it's super cute. Amazon, super cheap. Just adds a little pizzazz. All right, I'm late, I gotta go, bye. All right, I just got out of the shower. Took a body shower. My hair is like third day hair. You can see it's like very greasy. Use some dry shampoo. I've been using Batiste shampoo or dry shampoo since. <laughs> Definitely since I was in high school. So about 10 years. <laughs> Just aged myself. It's fine. All I do, I love it. It's really inexpensive. But it's also great. I love it for blonde hair because it has a white cast. I know that's why a lot of like brunettes might not like it. But I like it because if like I have a couple like roots growing out, it just like kind of hides them. So all I do is lift up some of the hair, spray at the root, and I leave it. Spray at the root. I don't zhuzh it in yet. I give it like a second to do its, its job. And it just like refreshes your hair completely. So I'm just gonna leave that in. They come in a bunch of different scents too. Sorry, my patio door is open so you can hear the train go by. But I just leave it in and it makes my hair just like refreshed and looks like I just got 
my first blowout, but I'm gonna let it sit there. My friends with brunette hair also love it. So you just gotta kind of zhuzh in a little more, but for the price point, it's great. I always, they always have sales with it, like buy two, two, get one free, or like buy one, get one half off. So that's what I usually do. For makeup, so I'm just gonna do light. I've been obsessed with this Bare Minerals, what is it, Complexion Rescue. It's a tinted hydrating gel cream. I had never heard of anything like this product before. I'll show you. Comes out like this. Okay, not great, but I just put it between my fingers. That's all I use. And I just tap it all over my face. And then I just rub it with my fingers. And it, I don't know how to describe it. But it just like evens out your skin. It doesn't feel like you have any makeup on, which I love. It looks super natural, feels really light. Just rub it all over. I got mine from Ulta, but I was looking for a tinted moisturizer. I wanted a little bit of something. So I just put literally like a, what was that? A, not even a dime size amount. I don't know if you're gonna pick it up on camera. My bathroom lighting sucks too, but you can just see it's like a little glow. It also says it has SPF 30 in it and the active ingredients are titanium dioxide. So you know when SPF is like titanium in it, then it's actually good and will actually work. Should I put you here? I'm just balancing you on random items in my, my bathroom. It is good. Okay, I'm just gonna put some concealer. I'm still using the e.l.f. Concealer in light sand. Oh, this I got in the color natural five Natural five I feel I don't know. I feel like it's fine Again, I got it online at Ulta. So I kind of just winged it, but I think it works This is light sand. I just put a couple drops or dabs This oh this I don't want to talk about this this cover girl clean and fresh Pressed powder, this is 120 fair. Uh, I saw this as a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury powder and it really does like blur a lot, which <laughs> I love. So I'm using that. And then this is my Hula, or pff, Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. That's all that's left of it. It's had a good run. And I'm just gonna lightly just do like a backwards three on my face, bring it down my neck. I'm gonna do a little blush, eh? A little blush. Just cause, I don't know, I'm bored. I'm tried and true, Luminoso, all my makeup is complete trash. Hit pan on that, my makeup brush broke, but I always do tops of my cheeks. A little on my forehead, a little bit on my nose. Maybe on my eyelashes, uh, eyelids a little bit. Okay, um, I don't think I'm gonna do mascara today. I don't know. I need to actually tint my eyebrows and my eyelashes. I have a kit from Amazon that I do it with. I've talked about it before on my channel, but. Here's like basically the finished look. I'm using the Essence Lash Princess. This is amazing, it's like two bucks. False lash effect. All right. Okay guys, on my Instagram, I just posted about Ina Garden. I don't know if you guys, I'm sure you know her. She's just like a freaking legend. And I guess she is having to quarantine and like still record things, her cooking show at home. So she's like using her iPhone and she's like, I'm doing my own hair, my own lighting, sound, everything. And I'm like, same girl, welcome to the club, it's not easy, okay? But I want, I said like Ina will and always be my inspiration and to prove that, I have these two cookbooks too. They're so cute. I use them as decor. I love using cookbooks as decor around my house. I just think they add so much just fun and they're different than just like a normal coffee table book. So I have Cook Like a Pro, but then I also have this Cooking for Jeffrey book, which is a fun fact. My mom and I, <laughs> this is how much I, I stand and I'm obsessed with In the Garden. 2017, okay, March 9th, 2017. My mom and I, right there, okay, proof. We went to her book tour for the release of this book, Cooking with Jeffrey, okay? I saw her live, hello, what's good? Hey, Ina, so cute. And I paid extra 
for, where is it? A signed copy of the book. Okay, so when I say I'm obsessed with Food Network and cooking and cookbooks and like this has always been my dream, like literally I live, eat, breathe this. So I can't wait to one day like have a cookbook like this. Obviously I'm coming out with my own cookbook. This is my first step towards, you know, living out my dreams and, sorry, I guess I should face you. It's my first step of just like living out my dreams and I wouldn't be able to do any of it without you guys and I sincerely from the bottom of my heart like still am so grateful, will always be grateful. I still can't believe it's real. Like I'm literally making a cookbook and people are excited about it. Like I am obsessed with this whole world of like cooking and just making it healthier. Obviously Anna Garden is not, <laughs> The healthiest cooker but i love getting inspiration from her she is such i don't know i could just like watch her show for hours like barefoot contessa it's just soothing to me if you ever come over to my house i guarantee you it's we're playing food network that's just what we do so yeah i don't mess around when it comes to the cookbook game and cookbooks and chefs and all that it's truly 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 what i love and i'm so happy and blessed that i get to share with you guys all right I just got back home doing a little shopping. I am going to be posting some spooky, healthy snack desserts on my Instagram reels. So I got some just like props from Target. Here's a little sneak peek, just some white chocolate, no sugar added. Chocolate chips. I got some apples and bananas. We got, we got some good stuff. Also, I saw this and I just could not resist. This is not obviously for any content. This is for my own enjoyment. This is the frosted sugar cookie. You know what, I had to get it because it has Buddy the Elf on it. Um, one tablespoon, 35 calories. Again, I just use a splash of this in my coffee. I'll probably just honestly do a splash of this into my almond milk and then add those both into my coffee. Yeah, I just had to, I had to do it. If any of you all tried this, let me know if it's good, what other flavors you like. And yeah, I usually never get this kind of stuff, but I, I was suckered in. If you know, you know. Okay, but yeah, make sure you're following me on Instagram so you can see all the recipes that I make on my reels because those are like quick recipes that I do that I wouldn't post on my YouTube. Um, just a little Whole Foods haul. Just got some more of my Simple Mills farmhouse cheddar crackers. We love these. I mean, anything by Simple Mills I'm obsessed with. I think I, I've shared that before. Um, more peppermint tea. I, I drink this every night for my skin. I've talked about it in my skincare journey, but I ran out, so I needed more. Some bananas for the recipe videos. Some apples. Three of those. I got this, yeah, no sugar added white chocolate. Then I just got Lily's no sugar added white chocolate. I'm gonna compare them. This one's stevia sweet and this one's monk fruit sweetener. So I kinda wanna see, I already kinda tried this one. It's really good. Just some mini semi-sweet chocolate. And then I already opened these. Just the 365 gluten-free pretzels. If you've never had gluten-free pretzels, even if you're not celiac or gluten-free, try these. They legitimately taste better. They're crunchier. I don't understand it. And then, oh, this was on sale. I feel like this was only, I think it was like five bucks on sale. Usually I think it's eight. French vanilla stevia. I add this to my coffee. Well, I don't know. I probably won't need both of those. But... Yeah, that's what I got from Whole Foods. And then from Target, I guess I'll just show you what I got from Target too while we're here. I got these little shirts are only $5. $5, they're the Wild Fable. And they're just cute little crop tanks. A lot of you guys ask me like workout clothes or this is just cute with like a pair of loose jeans, like mom jeans. Is this the front? No, wait, whatever. Yeah, so it's got a black pair it's very it's like um fitted and then i got that that black one was high neck this one is like a little v and i got it in a large and i got a medium in and then i just got it in this nice green color too i think this would be really cute like this will be a little tighter on top and then just some like looser boyfriend mom jeans on the bottom simple five bucks you can't beat that i also got a cute little mask you guys know i love on masks. This is the Wild Fable. It's just like blue tie-dye. I thought it'd look pretty, especially if you like blue eyes. I think that could be pretty to bring out your eyes. And then a little sneak peek. Candied eyeballs. <laughs> I got a bunch of these for that reel that I'm gonna make on Instagram. 
And that's what I got. That is my haul today. Not the most fun, but. I feel like I've been running around all day. Oh my God, Herman. He always lays just like right behind me. Bubba, you lay right behind me. Yeah, okay, you look in the floor, nice. It was a big mess. I went right to Office Depot to get some posters that I was working on for my job, one of my jobs, and it took like two and a half hours, so I was doing my computer work there. Luckily, they had Wi-Fi and stuff, so I was sitting there. Oh, excuse me, excuse me, sir. Um, and then I went to Whole Foods, grabbed some stuff, Target, then I went to Walgreens, they didn't have what I needed, then I went to CVS and I found it, and now I'm back home. I have some homework to do but I really wanna shoot this reel. I might do it later tonight, cause like it's Friday night and I'm definitely not going out tonight. I have homework and then I have this recipe testing and stuff like that is so fun for me. So that's what I would prefer to do on a Friday night. Super cool. Maybe I'll pour a glass of wine while I do it. Ooh, spooky season. All right, this is a random clip about my love for Anna Garden and then a random haul. <laughs> But I hope you guys enjoy. I'm really trying to just like vlog what I'm doing and just share as I go. Otherwise, I feel like I don't share enough and I like to share. Okay, so make sure you're following my Instagram so you don't miss those reels. And tell me what else you wanna see from me. I always love hearing from you from here. Wow, I always love hearing from you guys. Obviously, I wanna make what you guys wanna see. So, I think that's it. All right, bye. All right, you guys, welcome to my crazy Friday night. I am actually in the process of filming a Insta an Instagram reel of some spooky little healthier options for treats. I got these little pumpkin mats in the dollar section at Target and I'm wondering if I can like display the desserts on them or something or just have them, I don't know. So I have my big ass box light, okay. If you can really see that lighting up because it's pitch black outside. Also apartment's a mess, it's fine. Then I have this to hold my phone while I do the reels because I don't like the shakiness. It's a one man show people, okay? I have some pumpkins, I'm trying, I'm trying, okay? Maybe I'll set it up and we can kind of see how we're going with it. Yeah, we'll see. Okay, we're gonna start. I had to pick a song, it's behind the scenes of making a reel. Let's pick like a spooky song, I don't know. Now we're gonna do our opening shot and I'm gonna make sure I get my feet out of it. Okay, now I'm gonna move this, but I'm gonna put a pretzel right where it was so I can do a cool transition. Maybe, I don't know. I'm already tired. Oh, I don't even remember if that was the right placement. I need to watch the last clip. Oh, I need, mm. oh my God. I'm just gonna delete this. Okay. I'm nervous, all right, ready? My feet are in it. Ah, ah, my toes, oh no. Okay, let's see if it works. <laughs> I missed. Nope, terrible. Hold it between my thighs. All right, cool, that's good. This is coming out nicely. Shocking. I know. All right. Thunder thighs. Help me out. Oh man. Okay. Now I see people have like videographers and assistants. Matt. All right. Things are escalating. I'm almost done. Let me get the shot. The final shot, please. Just one. Just okay. I'm sweating. You guys. My battery died. I'm sorry, but I'm back. Naturally. Look at how cute my little ghost pretzels. <laughs> I cannot stop laughing at that one. That's my favorite one, but this guy's eye just kind of fell a little bit, but yeah, I added some little jumper spiders, a little pumpkin. That's the best I got, you guys. I don't know. I hope you enjoyed this behind the scenes of the reels. Again, if you go to my Instagram, please hype up this reel because it's taken me like 45 minutes and comment. Okay. Hi, it's dinner time. It's actually really late, day 40, but time got away from us today. So we are making a quick staple for us, which is just our steak and blue cheese salad. So Matt is actually downstairs at the grill right now. He is cooking up the flank steak. All we do with that is put some salt and pepper 
and some olive oil in there. I just have some baby spring mix. Oh wait, I want to do arugula actually too. I like the pepperiness of arugula, but we also mix with some mixed greens just to get all the nutrients. So I'll do about half and half. We do a ton of salad. Like, <laughs> it's kind of obnoxious, but this is how salads fill us up when people are like, I feel like I'd still be hungry after a salad or like salads don't fill me up. I'm like, I'm not making your salad clearly. Then just a handful of mixed greens. I literally just mix them up. So it's like half salad, half spring mix, half arugula. Arugula gives it that really good peppery taste. So I don't know if it looks like a lot on camera. These are big plates. We need to get some big salad bowls. That's something that we need to look into. But, all right, those are done. That's the easy part, congratulations. All right, next, we are gonna do for toppings, sliced baby tomatoes. I'm gonna do red onion on mine. Obviously Matt doesn't like red onion. Avocado, of course some blue cheese. For the dressing, it's just uh, Dijon mustard, balsamic vinegar, and olive oil, and then salt, pepper, Italian seasoning. That's it, super simple. So, let me get to them. I'm gonna wash these tomatoes. I also like to add canned corn, or just if you have fresh corn, that too. I, for the fresh corn, I just literally just shave it off the husk. I don't cook it or anything. I think corn is so good. Maybe that's the Midwestern basic in me, but. And then I'm gonna wait to put the blue cheese on until the steak comes up, so it's a little fresher. This is where we're at right now. Look at those colors, how beautiful. You'll add the steak on top. I'm gonna mix up the dressing. About a quarter cup or a third of a cup of olive oil. Again, I eyeball all this. I just have some any balsamic vinegar. You could also use like red wine vinegar, whatever you have. I feel like this, these dressings are all to taste, so kind of just how you like your dressings. I have some spicy mustard, just whatever mustard you have to bind it together. Crack of fresh black pepper. One crack of salt and mix and then kind of see where you're at with consistency wise. I'm gonna go down and hang out with him since he's alone down there cooking and it's 9 p.m. All right, bye. We are shooting this steak salad, but this is the final product. Look at how good that looks. Herman agrees. <laughs> <laughs> Bub, okay. Yeah. Oh, we had it. Well, we're ending the night. Watching some Shits Creek. This is the sixth season. We are obsessed with the show. <clears throat> and we got our steak salads. They're so good. I'm just finishing off the night with some. Uh, Daily Harvest ice cream. This is a dark melty mint cacao chip scoops. You can see that. It's so good. I just put it in the microwave for like 10 seconds. Softens right up. If you're curious, here are the ingredients and all that. It's just coconut, maple, dark chocolate, spirulina, peppermint, and vanilla. It's still, as you can see, there's like chocolate chips in there. It's the cacao, dark chocolate. So, super good. Ooh, focus. So I'm just gonna have a couple scoops of this, just kind of like pick at it. And then that's gonna end the night. So, hope y'all enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you're not to, and I'll catch y'all on the next one. Bye guys.